everyone. Uh, my name is Stacy Breitek, and I'm going to show you a little bit about this program, ClassKick. Um, so I've made uh, a bunch of different files here. You can even make folders and put them into folders to keep yourself organized. So I made this one here called ClassKick Demo. Okay. So you can see here how you can make several different slides, and then you could do different things with it. Okay. So if you want to have an introductory slide, you can add an image. You can add a picture up here of anything that you want. It could be a graphic or something for class. And then up here, the students go ahead and toggle through the slides. Okay, so here's an example of something you can do for SEL. They could take the pen feature and then they could change the color and they could circle maybe how they're feeling today or about a test. Okay, um, something else that you could do is you could get little pictures. You could clip them and you could have them drag them and sort them. So they could say, uh, I spend a little bit of my time reading and then I spend a lot of my time watching TV. So this was something I did in the spring, just asking them um, how they spent their time during COVID. Uh, something else you could do is just give them blank space. If you'd like them to get a text box, they can drag that text box and then they can start writing their essay in here for you to grade. Okay. Uh, what else can you do? Um, this is nice because there is the voice recording command. Okay, so up here where there's a little microphone, you can click this, okay, and then the students have the option of recording their, their, their voice. So you can have them analyze something and then say, use this audio recording to explain how you do something or what your thoughts are about this. Okay, so they would just hit that. They would record a little audio. You could stop it. Okay, and then this little audio can be dragged around wherever you want it. Sometimes when students are um, using ClassKick for a test and they make some errors, it's, it's easier to explain with my voice where they went wrong. I like your setup, but then right here in the middle is where things went a little awry. You had the right idea, you just lost the negative, things like that. Okay, so students can leave me voice comments and I can leave them voice comments back. Okay. You can also use the link right here. So sometimes what I'll do is say, watch this quick video and then come back to the worksheet or to the project and, and try these problems now. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is just a feelings page with a text box. Uh, here's something I like to do with graphs. So in class, we would be cutting up papers and sorting. You can insert an image of some graphs or whatever you want, and you could take boxes, take equations I've typed, and they can drag these to the correct place. Okay, and then I can quickly look through their problems and see how they're doing, if they're getting them in the right place. Um, here's an example of a blank page. Okay, and I'm going to show you how quickly you can take a worksheet that you already have. So I have a worksheet here in Word, and I'm just going to quickly go get a snippet of it using the computer's snippet tool. And I can go to class kick and I can quickly paste it in. So anything that you have previously made, okay, with just a couple of clicks can be here in class kick. Okay, anything that you add, the students cannot edit. So they can't grab this and move it around at all. So they could take their pen and then they could write their answers on here, or they can get text boxes and then they can type their answers on here, okay, or they can um, solve the equation, factor the things right here in all the work. Okay. Uh, there's also places where you can add multiple choice questions. Okay, so you, you get the, the multiple choice icon from up here. Okay, and then you click what the right answer is. So as students solve these and as they click, you can assign points and things are automatically scored and those are graded for you. So you can add multiple choice questions. Uh, and then here's just one where they can show their work. Um, if students like to do work that involves a lot of writing, what I'll let them do is write at home on a piece of paper, okay, and then they can insert an image of all their work right here, which sometimes it's easier for more complicated problems to do, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you one where I've, I've graded some things rather quickly. So I just gave a quiz on factoring the other day. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to view the work. Okay, so you can assign things and load everything to your Google Classroom roster. And then after you hit the View Work tab, um, you can quickly see how the students are progressing. Okay, so I was able to sit and watch them as they took their quiz. As they move along, the boxes get filled up white. 
Okay, so at first everyone was on slide one and then they, they went further and further. Okay, so if I click in here at this one student, I can see their work and you can quickly give them stickers. So if you, if you add a sticker right here, you can edit all the wording and the points if you want. So the student had the exact work that I liked. I made a sticker that said, nice work, five points. And so it automatically gave that student five points up in the top. Okay. And you can add stickers if you want to say the same thing or if there's certain things that people keep doing wrong. Okay, um, Sometimes students forget to put a plus five right there, so I quickly get a little thing that I made that said you must write the plus five, the plus or minus button. Okay. All right, I hope this explained class kick in just a very short snippet, and good luck trying it out.